let's just say it doesn't look good. As Sean Diddy Combs and his sons enter a new week of public scrutiny amid lawsuits and federal raids, more celebrities are reacting not only to the accusations against the rapper, but also responding to accusations made in those civil suits. We're bringing you 10 celebrity reactions to Diddy's legal troubles. Welcome to Sidebar, presented by Law & Crime. I'm Jesse Weber. So it's been two weeks since agents with Homeland Security swarmed two homes belonging to music mogul Sean P. Diddy Combs. The rapper and businessman has gone by many names over the years, from Diddy and Puff Daddy to Brother Love. And over the past few weeks, his name has been seen in headlines around the world. Combs, to be clear, though, has not been charged with any crime. But these two raids, one in Los Angeles and one in Miami, are reportedly connected to a sex trafficking investigation by the Southern District of New York that it's ongoing. And while no indictment has come down and Combs is still a free man, the Southern District, they don't launch huge military style raids for this for no reason. So it's safe to assume that Combs is in some way connected to this alleged trafficking operation, but his exact involvement is not known. And of course, he and his sons. They were also hit with bombshell lawsuits, talking about accusations of trafficking, drugging women, sexual assault, illegal firearms, and narcotics possession. But the Diddy story is still getting a lot of reaction from the public, and some celebrities are weighing in. And although they may appreciate Combs' contributions to hip-hop and black culture, very few people are coming to his defense, which I keep asking my guests, isn't that weird? Now, I do believe, and some of my guests believe this too, that it could be many people are remaining mum because A, they don't want to defend Diddy, B, they don't want to get involved, or C, some may be receiving subpoenas right now, and they can't talk right now. That's a realistic possibility. But let's talk about some reactions that we are hearing. So first up, On the Brilliant Idiots podcast, TV, radio, and podcast host Charlemagne the God commented that while the accusations against Combs are heinous, it's hard to overlook Combs' successes as well. You got to be honest with yourself when it comes to these situations. We're talking about a person who contributed so much to culture. You know what I'm saying? You're talking about a person who help provide soundtracks to our lives. You're talking about Mm. a person, you know, especially you being from New York City, you know, you had to be inspired by Sean Combs in some way, shape, or form. Now, to be clear, he's not saying that Combs is innocent. He's not defending him against the allegations, but he did have this interesting back and forth with his co-host, comedian Andrew Schultz. So Charlemagne says, quote, how many people's legacies have we watched burn to the ground from Russell Simmons, Diddy? Well, Schultz says maybe legacy should be burned down to the ground if these people harm others. Charlemagne responds, quote, it's just one emotion. You all are lying to yourselves if you say, yeah, good for them, F them. These guys effing provided the soundtrack to our lives. They contributed to the culture in real ways before we knew any of this S. You have feelings. You have mixed emotions. Now, Charlemagne isn't the only one seemingly feeling this way because we heard from sports commentator and radio host Stephen A. Smith. He gave his reaction in a segment last week. Let's just say it doesn't look good. Again, we pray that P. Diddy has nothing to do with this, that he's innocent of all the allegations being leveled against him. But it ain't a good look at all. And then we have Combs' longtime rival in the music industry, Suge Knight. He's also weighing in. Reportedly stated that the accusations against Combs made for a sad day for the black community. By the way, Knight is serving a 28-year prison sentence for voluntary manslaughter, but he actually has a podcast called Collect Call that he does from behind bars. And in what seems to be a deleted clip that was posted by his company, Breakbeat Media, he says, quote, I tell you what, Puffy, your life is in danger because you know the secrets. Who was in the secret room? you know they're going to get you if they can. Now, don't really know what that means. There have been allegations that Combs alleged sexual escapades and crimes were infected with other kinds of celebrities and notable people. There was an allegation that he has cameras in all of his 
houses and he was recording people and there's blackmail. So there's been a lot of allegations and conspiracy theories about this cabal that Combs might be a part of. But remember, Knight and Combs had this feud that started in the 90s when Knight was the head of Death Road Records and Combs was leading Bad Boy Records, which later became Bad Boys Entertainment. But Knight went on to suggest that Combs go ahead and turn himself into authorities. Said, quote, I turn myself in. Sometimes you got to face the music. That's most of the time. Now, some other celebrities have come out with alternative theories for why Combs is suddenly in hot water. The Art of Dialogue channel posted a video from Uncle Luke, who's a rapper who shot to fame in the 80s and 90s. Your mama say, never bite the hand that feeds you. And so this is how the major corporations work when you try to come after them. Now, Uncle Luke seems to allege that Combs' problems could be connected to a lawsuit that he filed back in May of 2023 against Diageo. That's the London-based company that owns more than 200 alcohol brands, including Ciroc Vodka and De Leon Tequila. Combs signed a deal to promote Ciroc in 2007. Sales skyrocketed. And then in 2013, Combs purchased De Leon in partnership with that company. Uh, But Combs filed suit, saying that the company wasn't holding up its end of the bargain when it came to actively marketing and promoting Ciroc and De Leon. He even accused the company of racism, saying that they were marketing the liquors as urban instead of for the general market. Combs eventually agreed to dismiss the suits, and a statement attributed to both parties said, quote, Diageo and Mr. Combs have no ongoing business relationship, either with respect to Ciroc Vodka or De Leon Tequila, which Diageo now solely owns. Apologize if I'm mispronouncing the company's name, by the way. Now, back to that Uncle Luke clip. In it, he surmises that by Combs taking that company to court, he, quote, bit the hand that feeds him, and higher-ups may have helped trigger an investigation into Combs' lifestyle. R. Kelly! The rapper sentenced to 30 years on child pornography and racketeering charges also believes that there could be a conspiracy against Combs. The federal investigations into Kelly and Combs have drawn many parallels. And during an interview from behind bars with WAC 100, Kelly said that he wouldn't be surprised if it was all a setup. He said, quote, you could tell me about Puffy. You could about anybody in there. You could tell me on the news, the weather, the sky is blue. I'm not going to believe the... Because I'm in it now, and I know what they did. Kelly said that the authorities were, quote, mad because he's flagrant and claimed that celebrities should watch their back with false accusations saying this is crazy and that people out there laughing and making jokes and saying stuff on the radio, they could be next. Quote, they so stupid, they don't even realize the moves that's going on. A lot of the allegations against Combs have likely come, though, from recent sexual assault lawsuits that were filed against him by his ex-girlfriend, the artist known as Cassie, Cassandra Ventura, and a music producer named Rodney Jones, Little Rod Jones, both accused Combs of assault, abuse, trafficking, with a laundry list of alleged crimes that include sexual activity with underage girls, hiring sex workers for his party, spiking drinks, rampant drug use. And after Cassie's lawsuit was filed and then settled just one day later, posted an interview with Mark Curry. This is a rapper who was signed with Bad Boy Records and appeared on several of Diddy's tracks. Curry was asked if Combs was capable of doing the awful things that Cassie accused him of, and Curry was pretty blunt about it. I think he's very capable of doing it. It's in his character. That's who he is. That's what comes with power. That's what comes with arrogance. That's, that's what comes with, you know, what makes him. You know, um, power, that's just the selfishness that make you be like that. Music journalist Ture has spoken about his own experience with Combs and recently told a story on MSNBC about a family member that Ture was able to introduce Combs to for an internship. Years later, they finally came out, and this is a male, yeah. and said that uh, Puff had said, come home, stay the night with me, or the internship is over. And they said, absolutely not. He said, absolutely not. Uh, And the internship ended. Hmm. We've heard several of these accusations over the last few weeks when it comes to Combs and what he allegedly expects from the people in his orbit. In fact, in the Jones lawsuit, there's a theme that Combs would dangle the promise of money, opportunities, projects to get him to do what he wanted and then threatened him when he resisted. And as rumors continue to circulate, more people and businesses seem to be distancing themselves from Combs. His radio airplay has dropped substantially, and more than a dozen companies decided to 
and ties with Combs after Kazi's explosive lawsuit. And that's why when UFC fighter Chris Curtis decided to do his walkout to the ring over the weekend to Combs' song, Bad Boys for Life, it raised more than a few eyebrows. Well, Curtis responded on X, formerly known as Twitter, saying, quote, I'm getting some weird looks, so I'll explain the walkout for you guys before I go to bed. Last night at dinner, I got a call saying my walkout song, The Rumbling by Stim, wasn't approved by the execs. I was low-key kind of pissed, so I went with Diddy thinking, there's no way they'll approve this then, but I'm petty and a smartass. Joke's on me. They definitely approved it, so we just went with it. LOL, Diddy is terrible, but it was kind of hilarious. I'll do better in the future. Now, some of the celebrities that were called out in the lawsuit, specifically the one filed by Little Rod Jones, they are also responding right now. Instagram model Jade Ramey, who Rodney Jones claimed in his lawsuit was one of the people that Diddy allegedly bragged about paying to be a sex worker. Well, she is fired back against those allegations. And through her publicist, Ramey told Entertainment Tonight in a statement, quote, dating someone doesn't directly correlate to any of the false allegations made. Yes, I dated someone. How unfortunate. We've entered a time where caring for someone or falling in love is worthy of scrutiny in the court of public opinion. What may be amusing for you is real life for others, and my feelings have never been for entertainment, nor are they up for discussion. We need to be more conscious as a society when ridiculing people's lives and relationships merely for enjoyment. I appreciate everyone's kind messages and support during this time. But she is not the only one. No, Combs' ex-girlfriend, Young Miami, who Jones also listed as one of the people that Diddy claimed was a sex worker, denied the allegations too. She wrote on Instagram, quote, I'm not a prostitute. I never sold, and she has an emoji for a private area, a day in my life, and I hate how this is getting spun. And as far as Diddy's concerned, you know, there's videos, there's pictures of him surfacing since the raids in Miami, out, relaxing, biking, holding up the peace sign. Seems to be in good spirits. He just posted on Instagram the music video for the 1997 song Victory, where he runs from police. He wrote in the caption, bad boy for life, followed by a raised fist emoji. So it's really interesting to see the reaction to all of this. And I'm sure there will be more takes as this case, as this investigation progresses. That's all we have for you here on Sidebar, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. Please subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, wherever you get your podcasts. I'm Jesse Weber. I'll speak to you next time.